Hey guys, in this video, I want to tell you guys about my opinion of what's going to happen to the economy moving forward, whether it's going to get worse or going to get bad. And I'm going to tell you about why it is so confusing um, to differentiate whether a crash is actually coming or it's not coming. So the thing that many people are conflicted about this is that they cannot tell whether the inflation is going to be um, ending up good or bad because it's coming down in a very confusing rate. Let me explain. So there are actually many different ways to calculate uh, inflation, but today I'll be using core inflation, PCE, um, which is currently around 4.6%. And the targeted inflation percentage is 2%. So one of the questions we need to ask ourselves is that whether inflation is coming down at a rate where there will be recession and a crash or will it end up with a soft landing so inflation is around nine percent about 15 months ago and that was when the fed started increasing the interest rate and the inflation started to drop so the fed started by um increasing the interest rates by 75 um, basis points or 0.5 percent and then slowly um, decreasing the amount to 0.5 percent and then to 0.25 percent and since inflation was really high nobody expected the fed to be able to properly take care of this inflation issue due to historical events but right now, that might not be the case anymore. And just so you know, the interest rate is currently at 5.25%. Why I say that might not be the case anymore is because actually the economy does not seem too bad right now. In fact, um, it might be because the inflation is still up. Um, that's why um, economy is still running a lot, maybe. And why many stocks are still actually going up instead of crashing so basically the economy doesn't seem to be doing bad so it seems like there might not be a crash and if you think about it whenever the fed increases the interest rates um, almost everybody just keep adapting to the situation as if the interest rates was perfectly increased to a point where not many many people are suffering in the economy so yeah that's one of the big reasons why many people think that there might not be a crash because going at this pacing it seems like many people are able to adapt until inflation goes back to two percent but what's even more confusing about this is that we actually don't know um how people are doing like we get that they are adapting, but that's based on what we can see right now. But we don't actually see um, what's happening behind the scenes, as in, are they actually suffering or are they actually able to adapt to the end of the process and then avoiding a crash? Or will they start suffering before the process ends? Well, in that case, if that happens, there will definitely be a crash. But at the same time, it's also very confusing because we don't actually know which one is the situation that is happening right now. Well, something that might be confusing some people is that they might think, why not just expect the worst, right? If you expect the worst in the economy, then you can get ready ahead of time. Yeah, but even though uh, many people will say, yeah, getting ready for the worst could be how you want to do things but that's not really what people are worried about what people are actually worried about right now is their assets such as stocks gold and silver because if the market crash they would like to sell their their assets um, because if if they can manage to almost time it right where the market does crash or the economy does crash and they manage to sell the gold, silver and stocks 
and buy at a low price, they will earn a lot of money. But then also, if they sell too early and then the economy turned out to be not crashing or um, in any other case of scenario where it doesn't end up as how they predicted it to be, then, you know, it could affect them. Like, what if um, I didn't expect it to drop and I didn't expect it to crash, but it did crash. That would be really bad too. And you also missed a huge opportunity in earning a lot of money. So yeah, well in my conclusion, I think that there will be a crash. I'm not sure when, but what I think is that there are many people out there that is probably not able to um, continue sustaining and adapting to the uh, Fed increasing interest rates. And they will do it a few more times in the future, in my opinion. So yeah, even though it could go the other way um, and it's quite confusing, just let me know what you think about it in the comment section, what you think about this, because I want to know too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.